Hello guys, and welcome <coughs> to another Skyblock video. And today, this is not a let's play, this is a how-to. So let's get into the video. This isn't gonna be average, well, like I said, it's gonna be a let- It's gonna- it's not gonna be a let's play, it's gonna be how-to, but what am I focusing on? Well, simple. It's basics, a basic guide to farming. Now, you don't have to have this right at the beginning of farming. You can always just go to the farm and whatnot and do that. Or get, get some meat. But, but when you're starting out, you're going to need a specific item. You are going to need a hoe. Now, this could just be a simple looking hoe. It doesn't really have much. Really you can put stuff like harvesting, replenish, telekinesis, anything that's, you know, related to props. You gotta remember that you gotta need to actually have a good way to start it. So let's move. Let's move on to what you should start. With, you should do next. When you make your first hoe, uh, you're gonna need to actually. If you're gonna start up with farming, the first, the best thing to start up start off with is good old wheat. When you have wheat. Farming fortunes, or farming utilities, your farming fortunes, which gives you the ability to have increased drops. Now, have you, if you've been in, if you've been farther into the game, you might have noticed that there's a lot more materials that you can do. Now, where I, where you can start off with is that if you have noticed that there there are farming competitions that happen. At least every now and then. You can check the <coughs> you can check the uh what is it? The calendar events. And you can click on calendar, you can check when the next one is. So for example, the next one is gonna be cactus, melon, or nether one. <coughs> However, you can only participate in one and you can get that much. Well, there's no limit on how much you can get, but it takes some time to actually get up to that level. Anyways, if you ever want to, you know, get stronger, or well, get better, or if you ever finish one of those competitions, you know, like bronze, silver, or gold, you can click on, you can, you can find Jacob in his little farming hut next to, you know, spawn. Oh yeah, if you ever want the wiki hole, you can go into, you can go into little miss, the farming lodge, and you can buy, you know, wiki hole for just 10 coins, which is not bad. Anyways. Go to Jacob, you can redeem you know, your rewards. <coughs> you can always you can also track how much you know people have done. So like for mushrooms, people have done for spawns, people have done for 761, so like you know. That amount. Anyways. You get Jacob tickets with them. You get Jacob tickets with which then will be able to use be used for Anita. Anita Grab, you know, a lot of good things. The infinite dirt wand, which costs only one Jacob ticket. By the way, you get like 15 if you get bronze, 25 if you get like silver, and then like 30 ish gold. Anyways, infinite dirt is infinite dirt trade wand. It costs one ticket, but it allows you every coin placed on a piece of dirt. The whole great tile. This will be useful later on when you're actually making your farm. However, there's a better one. It's Next we got the basket of seeds. 
basket of seeds is really important. As long as you have seeds inside the pod packet, which I'll show you here, you can put seeds in here, and you can actually plant down a row of seeds, as long as there's, like, you know, a line for the uh, whole item. This works with, this works with uh, melon seeds, um, wheat, well, normal seeds, potatoes, carrots, any crop that, any crop besides cactus. Another one, it's the same exact thing as, you know, a basket of seeds, except instead it has, you know, another one. Delicate 5. This will actually be useful for a few. This will be useful for like pumpkin and melons. Yeah. It costs two. It costs two silver medals and one, 32 Jacob stickers. Oh yeah. Basket of seeds costs two silver medals with 30 Jacob tickets. Same goes with the Netherworld pouch. And the like, whole of greater telling is. One silver medal with ten tickets. Or if you're going for just a normal hole, great tilling. It's, a, it's one bronze medal, five Jacob tickets. But I should, I would say this just to save up for five gold oh, great tilling. Anyways, mathematical hope. I wish I had all. recipe contains like, you know, Jacob's tickets, um, and a, a specific amount of that crop. Now this is gonna be, this is gonna be a hard one for most of those who are just starting out. You need to get a gold medal and 32 Jacob tickets, but that's, the Jacob tickets should be fine, but you just need a gold medal. Anyways, Cocoa Chopper! Combine delicate to this, and wait, no, sorry, a different thing. It won't break your baby crops. Anyways, melon dicer. You gain five percent XP from melons. So basically, you are technically this one's mainly for farm for, for melons. You gain plus five percent EXP from melons, and like I said. This is like, you know, the RNG aspect of farming. This one, this melon farm actually, this melon, when you're farming melons with this item, you have the ability to get an RNG's drop, which is basically 64 enchanted melons for this. Pumpkin dice is the same exact thing, but instead the XP is pumpkins, and same thing with this. By the way, all of these cost at least one gold medal with 32 Jacob tickets. Fun guy cutter. I could say this is one of the more difficult ones to tame, but once you get started, you will technically be good. So basically, this has the ability to switch between red and brown mushrooms when you're cutting, or well, when you're harvesting. You also can 30% mushroom drops when harvesting the type of mushrooms you play your mode easy. Cactus! I like cactus personally. But I think the second favorite of mine is actually carrots. Anyways. Gold medal gives the same with it. You can just slice the cactus. Cactus is instantly, you know. So it's hard to do. It's hard to do with the ancient right? action. Well, it's hard to combat them with series. Farming level. And next one. Extra farming drops. This will be perfect. This is good. This gives you a 2% chance. It adds a 2% chance for the upgrade you add. So, to get double drops. So, right now I have 10%, and for me it costs 3 gold medals and 155. 155 Jacob tickets. Here goes.
goes up fast. Anyways, there's ability called metal trades. You can you can trade in for one. You can trade in two bronze for one silver. Or you can do the opposite and then you can gain two silver. You can gain you can lose two silver. Well, I mean one silver for two bronze. You can you can so you can if you converting to a if you're converting to silver with gold. He'll give you first silver, but you will lose that gold. And then the same goes for that. You pay for silver, and then you can get one gold. Because you can also trade, you know, medals with, like, you know, Jacob's tickets, but I don't think it's that good, to say the least. Anyways, next thing. Now, to begin, there's one thing I want you to know. When you, when you get to the point of where you actually farming, the ranch's boots. Personally, I don't use it a lot because I apparently get stuck on the crops, but anyways. It gives you a 2 defense boost and 4%, well, 4 speed for every farming skill you have, so. I get a bonus defense of 72 and a bonus speed of 144, which my current speed cap is apparently 355. Well, actually, it goes, I believe it goes like 400, 500, but yeah. Anyways. Let's get on to the more juicy parts of the video. Actually, before we do that, one thing that you most likely need to get a mathematical blueprint. When you go into the community shop at the like, town hall in Elizabeth, you're gonna need to buy, if you're planning on actually replanting the trees, you need to buy. It was called Replanish, I don't remember what that was. I'll show it later. I'll show it later. If you plan on getting more farming XP and farming fortune, cultivating is the way to go. It costs 1,000 bits and it, up, it slowly upgrades itself over time with how many crops you harvest it. gets really, really high really quickly though. Anyways, next thing. Now, you don't have to have a big farm for this. But for me, I will just show you like a mini farm that I've made. This is this has wheat, carrot, potatoes, and carrots. What I would say about this is though is that this is actually well accurate to what I have down there. So how you would build this is that underneath you have a row of cobblestone here, and you have a underneath of also cobblestone. So two layers of cobblestone. Or if you just want to, you can just put you know cobblestone here and every four blocks. Well, actually. Every four blocks, we have to place, you know, more of this, more of a line, and then one, two, three, four, and then another cobblestone line, one, two, three, four. The reason for this is that you're actually going to put water underneath here, so it actually wets the uh, soil, which makes it grow faster. This is only for wheat, potatoes, and carrots. Also, you need to put glowstone in order for it to grow. Anyways. Now my farm is not finished, but we, since we covered, you know, wheat, carrots, and potatoes, it's, it's all gonna be the same. Here's here's what the here's what my carrot farm looks like. You know, easier said than done. It's legit like that. Now we get on to the more difficult ones. Uh, mushrooms. You don't really need to worry about mushrooms until you're like last, or well, maybe second to last. But if you're planning to make mushroom for us. This is how you make it, okay? It's gonna be a much more difficult uh, to put here. So, it goes to one side to another. And you would have every. At the beginning, you have one, two, and then pods all. So one, two, three, four, pods all. One, two, three, four, pods all. All the way it goes. All the way to here. You do the same thing. One, two, three, four, pods all. Anyways, next thing. Okay, so, this, this is the second one. Basically, how I did is like one, two, and then like you know, one, two, and then like you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And so this time it's connecting because we're actually you know trying to go, go both. So if I would actually harvest it, which I'm not gonna do, but if I were to, you know, I would put you know either one, and then you have to follow like a pattern. So brown, red, brown, red, brown, red, brown, red.
one, like I said, this is going to be one of the more hard ones to, you know, clear out, because you're going to need, like, 50k of these, you know, mushrooms to actually get, you know, to the highest, the gold tier. Okay, so now we enter, well, let's start with Netherworld, okay? I made a half Netherworld, but technically this is considered, you know, one full actual level. The other level is actually saved for cocoa beans. But anyways, I don't have any specific methods for this. I just put down, you know, netherwort and all that stuff. All, you know, basically every netherwort on every side, basically. Same goes with here, but I haven't finished this layer. But if you see, you know, be like, netherwort, 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 all that stuff. I also do tend to actually put down glowstone as well to make sure. I do, I do like this, so one, two, and then one, two on each side, and then one, two, blah, blah. Next, uh, cooker beans. Cooker beans is not a hard one to actually do, but it does require some time to set up. To set up. You can't put cooker beans in a basket of seeds, so you have to manually place them down, which can be a pain in the beginning. to do, you know, so one, two, and then one, two, simple, and then I would, the, and on, on this layer here, you would put water underneath, and then, like, some, and then you could put, like, you know, slabs or whatever the heck, and then, right here, I do the same thing as last time, so, one, two, and then, you know, glowstone, one, two, one, two, glowstone, one, two, glowstone, and all that stuff. I'm doing a 2x2 by the way, for the show game. Okay, melons. Easier said than done. You don't need to water this, because it's actually not. It doesn't need to be watered. But like I said, I would say, if you have the farmer's boots, I would say it's like, you know, something lower. But you, you can always experiment to see what's fast. What's, you know. Because if you go too fast, you'll start missing some melons or pumpkins. Grab them and keep going. Anyways, you can find you farm all the melons, blah blah. You're going to you go into a position like this, and then you mine. I'll show you. Hold on. Be like this. Yeah, like that. Each other, I had, I did like a new one, two, blah. So one, 
and then ca cactus, one cactus, and then like on the other side it's like cactus, wait no, sand, cactus, sand, cactus, something like that. I just did it on a whole blunt diagonal line and all that stuff. Now is there anything else you need to know about farming? There is one more thing, that if you're gonna be a success a successful, you know, farmer, you're gonna need one exact thing. If you're gonna get the best out of your best. And that will be the elephant pet. <clears throat> the elephant pet can be found, um, on, I believe you can, you can find, you know, the elephant pet on the store, and when a wing goes around. But that's every now and then, so, because the wingo brings random pets, so you, there's no guarantee that, I, I won't say that there's a guarantee that you get a, you know, elephant pet on the first try to wingo, but if you do, then you're lucky. But, but the elephant does. The elephant, the legendary elephant pet, like, costs like 10 mil, not more. But it is worth it in the end. The elephant pet for me gives me, you know, 94 health and 70 intelligence, which is good. And then he has Stomp, which gives, you know, 18.8 defense with 100 speed, which honestly is not, you know, we don't need that. We have Walking Fortress, which gives me 2.9 health and 10 defense, which I don't need. This is what you really need. Usually give you know 